Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For Primetime. To this day. Oh, man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Man, oh man, everybody around the boxing community, they've been riding on old Devin Haney so hard, man. He fought Lomachenko, defended his belt, won. The judges gave it in his favor. They didn't give it in Lomachenko. Lomachenko has normally been the favorite, but you know what? Everybody is mad at Devin Haney. They mad at him because he won. They mad at him because the judges gave it to him. They mad at him because he ain't lost yet. I mean, wow. You know, to be 24 years old and to have the whole world mad at you because you keep winning, that's a special talent. I'm telling you, that is a special talent. Got old men hating on him. <laughs> I guess because they measuring their 24 year old life and they like, man, you know, I don't like that young boy, man. Made me sick. I wish I had that money. Yeah, I get it. But see, what you don't realize for the people that are just here just to hate or whatever, um, if you congratulate somebody, maybe some of that goodness and congratulations and that money and, 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 and success rub off on you. But just spewing out negative stuff, negative this. Oh, he need to fight this person. Oh, he need. That's what it, that's what happens when people start hating on a boxer. They ask him, "Who you fighting?" As soon as you win, man, you need to fight four more people. You need to fight these two guys at the same time in the ring with one hand tied behind your back, hopping on one foot. I bet you can't beat them then, Devin Haney. <laughs> You know, like, what's going on in the world, man? Why why are people, why can't people just take a second and just say, Dad, congratulations, man? You know, no, no. You got people throwing beer bottles in the ring. You got people upset. Anyway, let me move to the subject at hand. You know, Devin Haney was hit with the 24-hour deadline. <laughs> he ain't even had a chance to go on vac vacation after his title defense for his five undisputed belts that he got 24 years old. No, you can't have no break. Uh, -uh. We got to give you a 24-hour deadline. You got to choose between Shakur Stevenson at 135 or you can go on up to 140 and fight your boy Regis Prograce with the zone. Top rank of the zone, which is it? giving him 24 hours ain't that something <laughs> i thought he was a champion not the challenger <laughs> you know like canelo you know he he get to choose but see you know we know how it go we know how it go of course he's not canelo he ain't done what canelo done you know yada 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 i know i know i'm not even arguing that at all what i'm saying is is that he is a champion with all the belts and he can't even take a disneyland vacation without the world burning up his daggone reputation <laughs> that's what i'm talking about you know what i mean like dad can you at least just say for once out your mouth well you know he is the undisputed champion no you know they just talk to him he Devin hang Devin Haney need to fight Javante Tank Davis. Devin Haney need to fight Tiafimo Lopez. Devin Haney need to fight Shakur Stevenson. Devin Haney need to fight Regis Progress. Devin Haney, you, you, you hear what you're saying? It's Devin Haney needs to fight this. What about them guys? Why won't them guys get in a gauntlet match and find out who the best of them and they fight the champion like it used to be back in the day? No. See, now you got people on social media, everybody with a phone, uh, feel like they judge and jury. Uh, I'm a lynch Devin Haney myself on my own platform. Uh, he ain't fought nobody. The boy got pillow fisted hands. The boy, the boy can't, he can't walk straight. The, the boy got cricket teeth. The, the, uh, the, what? 
It's always a complaint about Devin Haney. That's why I did that, that video a few days ago. <laughs> you know, like the TV show, Everybody Hates Chris. <laughs> you know, Chris Rock wrote and directed that joint and narrated it. Yeah, that TV show. Yeah. That's how I, I view Devin Haney, man. It's like, Devin Haney tries to be good, tries to do everything right, and they just hate on him. Just hate on him. You know? Uh, you know, I guess maybe he got to go out here and, and rob a liquor store or, 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 or he got to go, you know, uh, slap a, a priest or something, you know, for folks to dag on, respect them to say, oh, that's who I'm talking about. He need to be gangster like that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> is that what y'all saying? Is that what y'all portraying that this guy need to do to earn y'all respect? <laughs> he got to get locked up a few times, you know. He just got locked up recently, right? You know, for a gun under the seat of the driver that was his security guard. But the police locked him up because the car was registered to him. Ain't that something? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Boy. So, you know, it's, you know, it is what it is, I guess. You know, once you're the champion, you got to do these things. You got to go through these hurdles. When you're a young black champion, that is. Sad to say. You know, that's just the honest truth. I mean, you know, <laughs> should I sugarcoat it for you? Oh, well, you know, he's being done what uh, normally should go um, with a guy in his position with all the belts. And, um, you know, all the other stuff that happened to the other champions that is in the past. It doesn't make any sense of what you're saying. I don't think it's any racism against Devin Haney. I don't think it's, you know, body trying to discredit him. I think he's earned the respect from the ones that respect him and the ones that criticize him have a valid point of criticism. That's what you hear. That's what you hear. Everybody got a valid point of why they criticize <laughs> so you criticize him over the Lomachenko fight because he won because the judges gave it to him maybe the judges saw the fight and scored the fight right maybe just maybe you wanted him to lose so bad everything Lomachenko threw was oh oh my god he about killed him because you, you saw how the commentary did <laughs> the commentary acted like, shoot, Devin Haney lost every round. Real talk. Play it back. Challenge me. I dare you. I dare you. Every round, Lomachenko, threw, he could throw a jab. Oh, my God. He almost, oh, boy. <laughs> they was excited. Devin Haney sounded like the challenger to the commentary that narrated the whole fight crazy so maybe just maybe in retrospect you hearing that not even really seeing all of the fight looking at every punch every jab thrown trying to count it and mark it down maybe just maybe you played into the fiddle of what the commentary was singing yeah i, I know i would have if if, if i had watched my first boxing match watching Devin Haney versus Lomachenko I would think like Devin Haney is the sorriest fighter on earth and that he didn't deserve to be in the ring with Lomachenko and Lomachenko was the champion with all the belts that's how it sounded but I get it I get it you know I get it that's the world we live in I understand I totally understand but what I don't understand is, is that what does this young man have to do at 24 years old to gain an ounce of respect from you guys? You know, because after he fights all of what you ask him to do, because the thing of the matter is, is Devin Haney has always been calling out the big fights. He has always been going after the big fights. Look at his resume compared to every one of those guys in 135 resume. Devin Haney has fought more former champions than Shakur Stevenson, Javante Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, and Teofimo Lopez. Probably put together if I did the numbers right. You know? 
Ain't none of those guys even asked to fight Jorge Linares. Now, Shakur Stevenson agreed to fight Jorge Linares, but we ain't heard nothing else. See? See what I'm saying? It should be a gauntlet match of these guys fighting each other to, to determine who's worthy to fight Devin Haney. But no, we want people to jump the line. We don't care about who in 135. Shakur Stevenson here, he right now. Let's, let's go ahead and make this match right now. I get it. I understand it. I wouldn't be mad at it if they made it. But what I'm saying is, is that why don't we make these other guys that's sitting on the sideline trying to direct the fight and direct who Devin Haney fights, why don't we direct who they fight? Because they ain't got no belts, right? If Devin Haney got all the belts at 135, shouldn't Devin Haney be able to direct who fights for the belt? <laughs> but I guess that ain't, you know, that's not possible. No, no, no. <laughs> Nah, nah, it's just not. It's not right. It wouldn't be right if we allowed Devin Haney to do that, you know? <laughs> you know? But right now, standing, you know, that's what it is. Devin Haney has, um, you know, till July 27th to negotiate with Regis Pro Grace. And this was basically, you know, because. Eddie Hearn wanted more time to negotiate with this Regis Progress in the Devin Haney fight. So it sounds like to me, Devin Haney is choosing the lesser of two devils to fight. He's fighting Regis Progress at 140. He just defended his belts at 135. Now moving up to 140 to fight for a title for Regis Progress WBC title because WBC mandatory mandated that he fight either Shakur Stevenson at 135 or either he fight Regis Progress at 140. Regis Progress had a subpar fight, his last pass fight, so that would be one of the reasons why Devin Haney would choose a Shakur Stevenson. The other reason is, is that Devin Haney made the offer and Shakur turned it down. Now, a lot of people are criticizing Shakur Stevenson, saying, why don't you just take the 25%? Even George Cambosis, manager, and George Cambosis said, why don't you take the, the fight with Devin Haney? And he's like, nah, I ain't taking no 25%, man. I ain't taking no 25%. But, you know, that's a tribute to because Shakur Stevenson got like three people in his pockets. He got Bob Aram, he got Jay Prince, and he got another dude in his pocket. So, you know, he got break bread with three other people out of 25% of that fight. So, of course, Shakur Stevenson gonna turn that down because that means he probably leave with what? Maybe 250 grand <laughs> after fighting for Devin Haney and the Bills. So, I can kind of understand it. But on the other hand, if he did fight Devin Haney, he could call Devin Haney bluff. And if Devin Haney really didn't want to fight, then that would make the fight more, you know, on flame and on fire. And then he could probably up his bid. But because his team chose this route, Shakur Stevenson just got to wait. He got to wait patiently. You know, but his time is coming. You know, either way, it don't matter now or later. It's going to happen. And that's what he knows. So he's comfortable. Um, but he do need a big signature fight. He don't need to be put in the top rank cold list. You know, kind of like how Bud Crawford was when Bud Crawford was with top rank. You know, he was with top rank and it was hard to get the PBC and, you know, top rank to negotiate with doing a fight deal so that's why Terrence Crawford his contract ran out he became a free agent and now he's able to do that deal so you know it, but that's how it go you know you young you got to start out somewhere you got to do something you got to be signed with people that you don't want to be signed with and you got to learn you got to learn the business so um, I do see Devin Haney has learned the business. That's why he has a profitable promotional company. And he's doing as good as he's doing with his company. And that's why he's garnering, you know, some jealousy, some envy, some hate, some love, some attention, some fame, some fortune. 
you know, hey, he doing his thing at 24 years old. His dad set him up in a good place. So definitely got to contribute that to his dad, Bill Haney, for helping put his son in the right position to be successful. Um, other than that, you know, he got to July 27th to make a decision on fighting Regis Progress or either fight Shakur Stevenson, but still a rabbit out the hat could come with him fighting Vasily Lomachenko in a part two. And that's honestly what I, I still kind of lean towards. I know they're not talking about it, but I know Lomachenko ain't talking about it. So that leads me to believe that, you know, that fight still has possibility. So anyway, with that being said, that's all I got for this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. And definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch and go to Universe Boxing on Discord and sign up Universe Boxing. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm out till next time. Talk to you.